Good morning. Today is April the 27th. Boy, I hope you're excited about today. I hope you're looking out and jumping out and uh, have a hoorah and a quick step and a, and a spring in your heart and you're just excited about what the Lord's doing. You know, our God is able to do whatever we're thinking about. And today's Bible verse and, and thought for today is calling the things that be not as though they are. Calling things. And he uses this over and over and over and over in the Bible. Many, many, many places in the Bible tell us about how God calls the things that be not. Of course, we're all familiar with in the, in the beginning in, in Genesis 1 where the earth was without form or void and God said, let there be light and there was. Then in Romans, the fourth chapter and the 17th verse, we understand how Abraham had been told, told by God that he was going to be the father of many nations and he's changed his name from Abram to Abraham, which means the father of many nations. He told Sarah, even though the deadness of her womb, that she was going to be the mother of all, all the nations. And here she is, 75 years old, and old Abraham is 75, and the deadness of his body and the deadness of his wife and so every day for 25 years they go out and look up and count the stars and look at the sands of the seashore and try to understand. In, in 1 Corinthians 1, starting in 26 through 28, an interesting thing, very similar to this, it says God chose the wise things of man to confound him. It says he chose the weak things of them. He calls the things that be not as though they are. So as you're rising up this morning and you're trying to understand, well, what do I need? Well, maybe you're sick in your body this morning. And you're saying, Father, heal my body. So you're calling something opposite into the place where there is sickness. There's another famous one that's in the Old Testament. Let the weak say I am as strong. And we sang that song. Let the weak, that means weak. Uh, and so we try to understand when you are weak, you have been made strong. How about Paul says, you know, he's in, in 2 Corinthians 12, he says, my grace is sufficient for you. He said, I sought the Lord three times. And the Lord told him, he says, my grace. Well, what does that mean? He says, means call the things that be not, Paul, where you have been sick or afflicted or thrown in jail. I want you to start calling wellness, healness, and out of jail in your life. I want you to start calling righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Spirit in your life. I want you to start seeking the things of the Lord. In Colossians 3, verse 1 and 2, it says, set your mind on things above. Let the peace of God rule in your heart. You know, if you read the third chapter of, of all the epistles of Paul's in the 16th verse, you're going to read an interesting thing. It says, sing songs and hymns and spiritual songs to yourself. Let a melody spring up in you. So when you're thinking about calling the thing, call in life to yourself. Speak to your body. Body, get in line. I command you to be normal, to be healed. I command pain to leave. Body, I command you not to be hungry right now. I've already eaten a good meal. You should not be hungry right now. I tell my body and I put it, Paul says, I buffet my body in 1 Corinthians 9, 27. He said, I buffet my body. I call my body to be under. I put my body, I buffet it. I bring it down. And then I make my mind yield to the things of God. I walk in the things of God. I confess the things of God. If you want to change your life and your lifestyle, don't make a New Year's resolution. Make a God resolution. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. No weapon formed against me will prosper. My God shall supply all of my needs according to his riches and glory. Call those Bible verses to faith. Call them into your life. In 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 20, it says all the promises of God are yes and amen. Can you agree with that? Are you having a difficulty putting the word of God in your mouth? Read it out loud. Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word. I pray that these Bible verses today have opened your eyes of your understanding and that you're leaning not on your own but upon God himself who says, Call upon me in a time of trouble and I will hear and I will answer you. Amen.